Hey folks, Jer here at The View on Wednesday the 30th of November with some Leeds news. Um, in today's video we're going to cover off some behind closed doors information about the under 20s, the plan for the games in December for the Leeds first team, as well as some incoming news and updates on players that Leeds have been linked with over the last couple of weeks. And we'll start off with the first team plans and on top of the Real Sociedad game on Friday the 16th of December, Leeds have now added AS Monaco to the list of friendlies in Ellen Road on the 21st of December, which is a Wednesday night. Anyone who's interested in going to those games, tickets are on sale for that right now. You can head over to leedsunited.com, and they're all there if you want to check them out. You can. Um, also, a friendly against Elche in Spain has been announced for the 8th of December, and tickets are available for that as well. If you fancy a bit of warm weather before Christmas, you can always pop over and do that. The under-21s will also play a behind-the-closed-doors friendly with Valencia in December as well. Um, all these plans getting ready to kickstart the season the second half and get us ready for the Man City game and get the under-21s ready for their final push to see if they can get promoted back into the Premier Division of uh, Premier League 2. We'll have to wait and see. Um, on the incoming news, some information coming out and Red Bull Salzburg have finally named their price for Noah Okafor. Okafor is widely expected to leave Red Bull Salzburg in January and there's a couple of clubs that are interested in him. Leeds are, have been watching the player for a while, has to be very high on the priority list. AC Milan and Arsenal are also having a look at the player and are said to be interested as well. AC Milan's a different beast. Basically, with the financial problems that there is in Italy and in Spain at the moment, uh, AC Milan will need to offload a couple of players or offload a player before they can go sign anybody major. So there is their information there. They are also looking at Hakim Ziyech, so similar kind of roles. They're obviously looking for a seven. Um, it be interesting. Gets a lot of goals. Arsenal in the mix as well. I would fully expect Arsenal to go and sign some players before the second half of the season. This is their best chance to ever go off and try and win a Premier League title in the last, God knows how long. So they have a chance to do that. Be interesting to see if they go ahead and do it. Um, more detail has emerged today on Pedro as well. Uh, Leeds have been tracking the player apparently since when in Marcelo Bielsa's time at Leeds. And Bielsa himself was very keen to bring the Brazilian striker to Leeds earlier in his reign. Um, it was said the player himself felt that he needed more time in Brazil to get consistency in his game and that he didn't feel a move outside of Brazil would benefit him at that moment. He opted to stay, to develop and to improve. Um, and what he said now is that he, he wanted to stay and find that consistency. Now he feels like he's found it. Coluna de Fla in Brazil have said that while the Whites have identified Pedro as an option, he's got 82 career goals so far, um, he will be an expensive player if Leeds do look to sign him. You're talking probably breaking the transfer record, which doesn't say an awful lot because it's not that high. But it would be a major move if Leeds were to move from. I would not expect Leeds to move for Pedro in this January window. If I'm being honest, I think he'd probably end of the season or next year again because he's still got quite a lot of time to run on his contract. So interesting to see there. Um, Gonzalo Plata, who has been playing at the World Cup for Ecuador at the moment. Some news on him. Leeds are said to have been scouting the Ecuadorian at the World Cup. And according to Ben Jacobs, Plata has been on Leeds' list for the past year. Jacobs said Leeds are one of the number of clubs that have scouted him and have kept him on a longer term radar. He also said that they have done this since last season. There are other comments and quotes around that you can go check that out from Ben Jacobs on his Twitter account as well if you want to um, there are some other bits to this as well but he had a very good season basically in the second tier of Spanish football last year scored a lot of goals from a wide position that goal scoring form hasn't transferred into his Premier Division time now but that doesn't mean as a winger it's not all about the goals that they get it's helpful it's nice but uh, not that long ago we've been told Chris Lanser Somerville wouldn't score in every game and Look how that worked out. Players can work on runs. That's pretty much it for today, folks. Not a whole lot knocking around, but um, well done to England yesterday, by the way, and Calvin Phillips on getting an assist. Lovely ball. Um, and well done to the USA in qualifying as well, and Brendan Aronson on a fantastic second half, as well as future Legion United player Christian Pulisic scoring. Joking. Um, as well as Todd Adams looking at in. So well done to everyone. Um, have a cracking day, folks. I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow morning with more news. Bye.